call halal. Yahweh Bashem El Shai, Bashem Rakakadash, double honors unto the apostles and men of Great Millstone, those of whom I'm, whom I learned the truth from in the spirit of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai. Um, peace and blessings to all the brothers out there doing the works in truth and sincerity. My name's Kanawak from Great Millstone, Toronto. Today is March the 25th, 2019. You know, um, this is just a quick lesson, you know, in regards to, uh, you know, these Edomites, you know, which you Edomites, you guys uh, call yourselves white people or Caucasians, you know, which if you call yourself a Caucasian, you're calling yourself a dweller of the Caucasus Mountains. You know, which you once dwelled in the mountains, but <clears throat> it goes even deeper. You know, your true uh, biblical nationality is Esau. You know, and there's great future judgment. You know, when you get the Zonderfin Bible Dictionary, you know, it says, uh, you know, a people basically who will face great judgment in the latter time. When you read the last paragraph in the Zonderfin Bible Dictionary, man, and that's what you're going to face. Great future judgment, according to prophecy, man. You know, so I'm going to get a quick scripture, a couple of scriptures, make this lesson short. Um, Malachi 1, verse 1 to 5. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? And that's what our people are saying. Because the Lord, he loves our our nation. You know, you so-called blacks. You so-called Latinos and Native Americans. You know, he has love for us. You know, but our people say, how does a, how does God love us? Or the one who knows the most high, how does he love us? And we went to slavery, we went to captivity. We're the last hired first fired. We're being shot down, you know, in the streets. We're killing each other on the streets. You know, we don't have any power in this society. You know, the Mosai, he's punishing us for our sins in our former lives. You know, and um, in, in, in this present life, he's ultimately punishing us, you know, because we went away from his word. You know, and the Lord, you know, uh, the one he knows, Yahweh Shai, or Jesus, he had to die on the cross so that we could come back unto the Father. You know, and even when the Lord was on the scene, two thirds of our people, they never had respect, you know, for the Lord, man. You know, they were gainsaying, they were naysaying, you know, talking shit, you know. Our people basically, they, um, our people, they handed over the Lord unto the Romans, man. You know, two thirds of our people, man. So our people is paying for that as well. Because, you know, the Jews who was in the land, they said, let his blood be upon us and his children. Uh, I mean, let his blood be upon us and our children. You know, and that's what our people said, man. You know, so we're, we're paying for the punishment. We're paying for the crimes, you know, that we commit against the Lord. You know, as a, as a nation and um, also, um, you know, uh, sins that we commit against the Mosai, man. You know, but the Most High, He still loves us throughout all of that, man. He's just correcting us. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Said the Lord, yet yeah, I love Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragon in the wilderness. And the Most High, He hates you, damn Edomites, you so-called white people. Look at the earth. Look at the state of the earth, man. You know, he, uh, the earth's polluted, man. It's defiled, you know, from the foods that we eat, the air we breathe. You know, everything. You know, everything, man. Everything designed in this kingdom is is defiled. And it's killing us it's killing us daily, man. Everything, man. You know, you have no privacy in this kingdom, man. You're we're being spied upon, you know, through uh um through these different devices. Everything, man. You know, and ultimately what they wanna do, they wanna control us, man. You know, via the uh, um, the RFID chip, you know, this whole society is going to crumble, you 
know the whole uh, economic infrastructure the whole economic infrastructure and basically what they want to do they want to they want to rebrand everybody with this RFID chip man you know where that's going to have the new currency everything and they're going to be able to monitor people and and control people and fuck them up and try to be like the most side but the most side going to destroy you guys man that's why he says this and his heritage and that laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragon of the wilderness because the most I can destroy you guys for all the plans that you guys you know plan on doing for all the counsel that you you know that you're having you know your uh you know in the in the United Nations your Bilderberg meetings you know your council of foreign relations your NATO meetings your EU the most I can destroy all that man because that's your stronghold you know all those uh things that i mentioned those are some of your strongholds and the most is going to destroy all those things all those councils man and all your governments and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness whereas edom said we are impoverished but we will return and build the desolate places thus said the lord of hosts they shall build but i will throw down they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the lord have indignation forever and so the most is he's going to destroy this place with thermal nuclear fire and as uh, those missiles are being shot over here the angels of the Lord they're going to be doing the Lord's work man and helping get in uh, help ridding the land of the Edomites man and of uh, this wickedness you know, cleansing the land man with, th with that uh, you know with those uh, lasers you know on the chariots man you know with that concentrated fire man burning up you wicked people you know uh, and all this infrastructure you know and that's our prophecy that's why uh hollywood they make these films like war of the worlds um independence day um uh, what's the next one you know there's all kind of movies man you know where they show uh the alien invasion you know of america are and basically armageddon you know where there's wars being fought and in so-called aliens invading, which they're not aliens. They're you know, the so-called UFOs. They're really the chariots of the Mosai, doing the Lord's work, man. And they're gonna get down and dirty, man. And the and um, and they're gonna be uh, you know, a part of destroying this place, according to the Bible. You know. It says uh. We get another scripture as well, man. We just get another precept, man, because uh, I don't want to be uh, just uh, saying these things and not proving it. So I have to prove what I'm saying. So like, yeah. This is Second Ezra, thirteen. I start at one. And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there, were, there arose a wind from the sea, that it moved all the waves thereof. And behold, and lo, that a man waxed strong with the, thou with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice like as the fire faileth when it faileth like as the earth faileth when it faileth the fire you know and it says you know and this is talking about the father ship man you know the main ship you know this talking about the mother ship you know so to speak basically um you know that the lord is going to be coming in that you know and he's going to be doing the works you know, the chariots of all chariots, man. You know, it's got a big, a big ship, you know, where it can't be, whereas uh, Ezra's, he saw it. I'm going to, it's going to explain. It says, um, and after this, I, I beheld and lo, there gathered together a multitude of men uh, of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. So that, that's talking about the armies. You know, of you different nations, of you Edomites, you Moabites, you Ishmaelites, you Persians, 
you know, and so on and so on. After, but I beheld and lo, he graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it because that's how the prophet Ezra, how he saw it because it was so great. The chariot was so big, it looked like a mountain in the sky. That's how big it is, man. That's how big that one ship that the Lord's in. And after this, behold, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet they're afraid. So even though they're going to be afraid, the Most High is going to put a spirit on them to fight, man. Even though that they know that they're going to lose, the Most High, he's going to put that spirit on them to fight still, man. And see their demise. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he near lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. But I only saw that he sent out his mouth as it had been a blast of fire. And out of his lips a flame and breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. So just like what you see in this image here, that's how this prop... This is exactly this image that you see on your screen here was inspired by this, by this uh, verse here, Second Ezra thirteen, and that's and this is exactly how it's gonna look even worse in real life because this is a prophecy, you know, the Bible is the only book where things were spoken of. You know, things were written in this book and actually came to pass. You know, it's the only book. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude, which was prepared to fight, and burned them up, everyone, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke when i saw this i was afraid so even though you know these governments they have all these technologies you know with this uh these uh missile defense these uh thermonuclear warheads you know their new uh the star wars defense system you know and all these things you know these weapons that they have these laser weapons and stuff supersonic weapons you know, faster than the speed of light or sound, you know, the, the Most High is still going to destroy their ass. Because this is a spiritual war, man. You know, so the things that's made currently with the hands can't subdue the Most High. The Most High is going to show his true power and strength, man. You know, it says, Afterward, I saw the man that came down from the mountain and called unto him another peaceable multitude. So who's that peaceable multitude? The hundred and forty four thousand, you know, and the one third who who um, whom the Lord is gonna have mercy upon in this earth. And there came much people unto him, whereof some were glad, some were sorry, some so you know says some were glad. So the people who's gonna be glad is gonna be the elect. You know, the people who who are sorry are gonna be those who fell away, you know, from this truth. You know who despised and so on and so on, and the Most High he, he's gonna have mercy on some of them, and the Most High gonna kill the majority of them. Man, it says some of them were bound. And the people who's gonna be bound are the Edomites, you so-called Caucasian, you other nations, man. You know because we're gonna be the new rulers of this earth, the new rulers and officers of this earth, and others, and other some were brought. And other some brought of them that were offered. Then was I sick through great fear. And I awaked and said, Thou hast showed thy servant these wonders from the beginning, and hast counted me word that thou shouldst receive my prayer. Show me now yet the interpretation of the dream. For as I conceive in my understanding, woe unto them that shall be left in those days, and much more woe unto them that are not left behind. Oof. For they that were not left were in heaviness. Now understand I the things that are laid up in the latter days, which shall happen unto them, and to those that are left behind. So it's the latter days, and that's where, and that's the time that we're living in the latter days, and this is what's gonna come. 
you know so we have to prepare ourselves and our mind individually you know uh you know to understand these things and to be occupied in prophecy because you know with all these distractions and um things going on you know we have to remain focused and you know be warn our people of things to come and be sharp and know what's going on and you know stay in tune but uh, with that let us say kahalal yahweh bashim ashai the honors unto the Apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to all the brothers out there doing the works in truth and sincerity. Shalawam, you know, to all the, you know, people out there, the brethren out there listening, you know, and, uh, you know, may y'all, Bashim Yashai, may deliver us, man, you know, this new year, you know, it's almost uh, the end of the Feast of Passover, you know, we're in this first, we you know, uh, right now we're approaching the second week of our new year, so may, you know, you know more uh, turmoil and hell you know be uh you know come upon this place man and may the lord may he deliver us you know and open our eyes onto things uh that's happening and keep us uh grounded man so with that i have to say and shalom